Okay, everyone. So come in, sit with your spine long and lifted. So and remember to sit on whatever cushioning you might need so that your hips are open and you're not sinking into your lower back. I'm gonna to go to my mat. Elongate your spinal column. Close your eyes. Remain with your eyes closed. And become fully aware as we always do begin by being fully aware of the breath. Think of slowing down your breath in. And slowing down your breath out. Listen to the sound of your breath and feel the sensation of your breath in your nostrils, in your throat, in your chest. in your ribs, and way down in your belly. Let your mind follow your breath from the tip of your nose to your abdomen as you inhale. And from your abdomen out through the tip of your nose as you exhale. Take five breaths on your own, riveting your attention to that breath. To the end of that fifth breath, reverse the cross of your legs. And then bringing your hands to your knees as you breathe in, arch. Exhale, round. As you round, draw your navel to your spine, tuck your chin. Inhaling, arch. You want to feel here the whole spine moving. And as you exhale, round. Twice more. Inhaling, arch, and as you exhale, round. Once more, inhaling, arch, and as you exhale, round. Come to center, right hand is to the left knee, left hand goes behind you as you inhale, twist, looking over your left shoulder. Exhaling, swing your arms around and look over to the right. We are moving with the breath. Inhale to the left, looking over your left shoulder. And exhale to the right, looking over your right shoulder. And one more time. Inhale to the left. Hold here now and breathe, turning only your head to the right, so it's a double twist. And then turn your head to the left and go a little bit more deeply into that pose. Change sides. Finding that rotation, double twist, turning only your head to the left. And full twist, returning your head to the right. Again, go a little bit more deeply into that pose. And release. I'd like to take us another variation of our seated cat cow. So place your feet firmly to the mat. Take your hands, bring them to the outside of your legs. Grasp your ankles in front and pull your legs into the body. And then let your arms be like walls that are preventing the legs from splaying. As you inhale, once again, feel that arch. As you exhale, bring your knees together, consciously press them together, tuck your chin to your throat. Inhale, 
try to get the whole spine to move here. And as you exhale, round. And one more time. As you inhale, arch. And as you exhale, round. Now pull the rounding, keep the chin tucked. Breathe into the whole back of your body. A couple of breaths more. Come to center and bring the soles of your feet together, but don't pull them close into you. So you're creating this diamond shape with your legs. Take a moment here, literally, and I mean literally, lift the flesh of your buttocks. We all have some, so you're hoisting yourself onto your buttock bones. Take your hands to your ankles. See if you can create that sense of elongation through your spinal column. And we're circling from the hip. So you want to move as deeply into that circle as you can, skimming your body towards your legs. Go three times, moving from the right to the left. And then reversing, going three times, moving from the left to the right. So three circles. When you're done, return to center. And now we want to have this set. So one of the only times I want you to round, and you might need to put a block or two on your feet. Here is your intention to bring your forehead towards your feet, to touch the feet if you can. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, fold forward. So if your head does not meet your feet, pile up your blocks at whatever height you might need so that you can give your head that support. And then think of breathing into your back. In this posture, I think of like a turtle tucked inside its turtle shell. So the back of your body is like the shell of the turtle and you're cocooned into that shell. It's a very protective pose. Come to center and then pull your heels. Now we are pulling the heels in close. So we're opening more into the hip joint. Wrap your hands again around the feet. Keep that lift. And ever so lightly, flutter the ropes. Taking your hands to your legs, you're tilting forward just a little bit. And release. And again, tilting forward just a little bit. And release. And then one more time. Tilting forward a little bit. And release. Take hold of your knees, draw them together, relax them. And let's come onto the hands and the knees. Let me just move these blocks out of the way. So come to your hands and knees. Remember, you can put a blanket under your knees if you'd like. And we're taking a variation of cat cow. So take the right leg and bring it all the way out to the right. Notice that I'm pressing the pinky edge of my foot down. My left knee and hip, they're in the same line, excuse me, <laughs> from this position, cat-cow. As you inhale, arch, looking up. And as you exhale, press away from the palms, round your back, tuck your chin. <coughs> Inhale, arch. And as you exhale, round. Twice more. Inhaling, arch. And as you exhale, round. One more. Inhaling, arch. And as you exhale, round. Come to neutral. And as you inhale, raise the right arm. Hold here. Think of reaching beyond those fingertips. Find the length through the torso. Now watch as we do this together. So you're taking the right arm. You're bringing it under the left arm. This is a variation of a pose called thread the needle. You're taking that arm and you're just bringing it under. So let's do that again now. Inhale, allow that arm to open. Really, the whole body is opening into this pose. And as you exhale, take that arm under. And then one more. 
Inhale to open. And as you exhale, take that arm under and then come to center. Your hands are under the shoulders. So again, as we do this together, you're taking that right foot, coming on to the top of the foot and bringing it as far over to the left as you can. Walk your hands also to the left and press your hips to the right. So you should be feeling a little bit of a lateral stretch through this right side of your body. Let's say at a twist of this pose, sometimes it's challenging in the balance. Take your hands to your sacrum, twist. Now, you can stay here. If you're able to raise your arm without falling out of the pose, then raise your arm without falling out of the posture. Always though, remember to stay focused and mindful of your breath. And then release to center. Take both knees together. Before we do the other side, bring your big toes together. Take your knees just about as wide as your mat. So we're coming to an extended child pose, but watch me. I want you to keep the fingertips to the floor to the best of your ability. Lower yourself down. Walk those fingertips way, 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 way forward and let the forehead come to rest if you can. So I'm going to come around and take a look here. Those arms should be actively, actively extending. I like this posture for the way it helps. Oh, that looks really good, everybody. For the way it opens up the shoulders and works that area between the thoracic spine, that mid-back. Maybe. Think of getting your forehead to touch the floor. It may not. That's fine. But at least have that intention. Keep holding. A couple of more breaths. Come back to center and then let's change sides. Hands are down. Now take the left leg and bring it out to the left. You're pressing the pinky edge of the foot down. We're taking that cat-cow movement. As you inhale, arch, looking up. As you exhale, round into your back, tuck your chin. Inhaling, arch, looking up. And as you exhale, round, two more. Inhaling, arch. And as you exhale, round, one more. Inhaling, arch. And as you exhale, round. Now we're threading that needle, inhale. Let the arm lift, feel the opening, <coughs> excuse me, through the left side. As you exhale, that left arm leans under. So it's almost like taking a bow. Inhale, open again. And as you exhale, weave that arm under. And then one more. Inhaling, open again. And as you exhale, weave that arm under. Come back to center. Come on to the top of that foot. So notice I'm on the top of the foot. I'm bringing that foot all the way over to my right. I'm walking my hands also to the right and pressing the hips to the left. So that again, I'm feeling some length through the left side of my body. So let's add a twist if you can. Right hand to the right, to the sacrum. Twist right. Stay here or if you're able to raise that arm, raise the arm. Find your breath here, always, always. I'm going to turn myself around. Come back to center. Let's take a second round of that wide extended child pose. Take the big toes together and knees about as wide as your mat. And think of arching your lumbar spine so that as you move back, you're also creating that little bit of an arch. Suction cup your fingers, tilt them forward, and then to the best of your ability, sink your torso down. And maybe for some of you, you can get not only your forehead to the floor, but also your chest. Hold here and breathe. Couple of breaths more.
and then return to your hands and knees and we're taking extended cat cow pose as you inhale raise the right leg looking up as you exhale bringing your knee towards your forehead forehead towards the knee again inhale i'm coming around to watch and as you exhale knee towards the forehead forehead towards the knee good one more time inhale open wide and as you exhale knee to the forehead forehead towards the knee let's change sides it's looking good everybody left leg inhale raise the left leg high looking up as you exhale round knee towards your forehead forehead towards the knee ruth just pull your arms under you a little bit more inhale extend looking up and as you exhale round knee towards the forehead forehead towards the knee one more inhale extend looking up and as you exhale round return to your hands and knees let's take a balance now gaze forward at a single point in front of you and raise your right leg straight out behind you parallel to the ground parallel to the ground now gaze forward and that's it doris and raise your left arm right leg left arm so you're in balance please hold this posture on your own for five breaths at the end of your fifth breath release we'll wait for everybody to be in the same place and then we'll take the other side okay other side raise that left leg parallel to the ground your gaze is forward and raise the right arm straight out in front of you henna that's it five breaths on your own at the end of your fifth breath both hands to the floor and come to downward dog pose so lift your knees off the floor sarah's the other way downward dog pose and upside down v that's it you're pressing your chest towards your thighs henna walk your hands forward a little bit more if you can doris the same thing walk your hands forward a little bit more if you can good form barbara good form devora good form ruth up to a pose remember you can land the thighs if you need to inhale roll those hips forward to upward dog pose and exhale back to down dog pose good again as you inhale moving forward to up dog pose that's it and as you exhale down dog pose excellent one more time inhaling up dog pose and as you exhale down dog pose now hold your downward dog pose for five slow breaths please count those breaths to yourself and at the end of your fifth breath come to child pose but wait until the end of your fifth breath So you're taking this moment. We're waiting for everybody to be again in that same place. And you're taking this moment to completely, completely settle. Roll up to center and lie down on your back. And remember, you can always have a blanket or pillow under your head. Once you've done that, lie down on your back.
Bring your right knee to your chest. Wrap your hands around your right leg. You're hugging that leg closely into the body and your left leg is straight out on the mat. Let's pause here for a moment. I want you to just feel that compression of your, the salary you're lying down on your back now. Lie down on your back, yeah. Right knee is to your chest. Now let's focus for a moment on the left leg. Think of linking the breath to that leg. So you're hugging the right knee in. As you inhale, float the left leg up to the ceiling. Remember though, you're not swinging the leg, you're floating the leg, big difference. And as you exhale, float the left leg down. Doris, hug your right knee into your chest. Left leg is straight, that's it. As you inhale, float the left leg straight up to the ceiling. That's it, Doris, good. And as you exhale, float the left leg down. Doris, I think I'd like you to have a pillow under your head like a thin pillow under your head, like that blue pillow or black pillow, whatever is on your couch there. And now one more time, inhale, floating the left leg up, hold here, your leg is lifted. Your right knee is to your chest, left leg is to the ceiling. Barbara, see if you can lift that leg another inch. Ah, there you go, I knew you had it in you. Circle the ankle, slow, 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 everybody. Circle that left ankle, slow, very languidly. Circle the other way, point, flex, point, and flex. Float the left leg down. You're hugging that right leg firmly in. Take a breath, and as you exhale, lift your head towards your knee. Reach for your elbows if you can. You're hugging that leg in close. Very good, three breaths only. End of your third breath, release the pose. Completely. Release the pose completely. And then take that left knee into your chest. You're hugging that left leg in close. Your right leg is extended on the floor. Our focus is that movement of your right leg to the rhythm of your breathing. As you inhale, float the right leg up. And as you exhale, float the right leg down. Go slow. Again, as you inhale, Float the right leg up. And as you exhale, float the right leg down. And then one last time. Inhaling, floating that leg up. Hold here, let the breath flow. Circle the ankle slow. Slow, 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 very languidly. Circle the other way. Point. Flex, point, and flex. Float the right leg down. Reach through that heel though. Find length as you lower that leg. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, lift your forehead to the knee. Uh, Doris, keep the right leg down and lift your forehead towards your left knee. Any strain in your neck though, buddy, buddy, you're keeping your head down. Two breaths more and then release that pose completely. Stretching both legs straight out on the mat. Let's take a moment to release the neck before we come transition to our standing postures. Lace your fingers behind your head, bringing your elbows close together near your face. Take a breath in here. And as you exhale, let your arms literally lift your head off the floor. So you're feeling that stretch in the back of your neck. Letting your arms do the work, turning the head to the right. Center. 
and to the left. And center. Lower your head to the mat. Hug both knees to your chest. Slip your hands under your thighs. Roll up to sitting here. Maybe you'll need your blocks. Come to a squat. So remember that as we move from the squat posture into our standing forward fold, Uttanasana, you want to make sure your hands are grounded. Maybe you don't need the blocks, we'll find out, right? But if you need the blocks, you make them any height that's appropriate for you. Take a breath in. As you exhale, straighten your legs, relaxing your head completely and freeing your neck. <clears throat> As you inhale, coming down slowly into a squat. And as you exhale, straighten, <laughs> relaxing again your head and your neck. And one more time. <clears throat> Excuse me, as you inhale, squat. And as you exhale, straighten. Nod your head no a few times. And then yes. Place your hands to the seam of your hips. Pull yourself back a little bit. Lift your gaze. Knit your shoulder blades together and come to standing. Think of zippering your legs together. Close your eyes for a moment. This is Tadasana, mountain pose, your foundation for your whole standing practice. And we are doing Surya Namaskar, sun salutations. So come to the front of your mat, take your blocks, place your blocks on either side of your feet, join your palms to touch. And we're beginning with Surya Namaskar slowly. Inhale. Take that huge breath in until your arms meet your ears. Pause here. And as you exhale, swan dive down. Your hands are to your blocks, unless you don't need them, by the way. Relax your head here. Relax your neck. Let your head hang free. As you inhale, step that right leg way back. Your gaze is forward. You always have the option of bringing the back knee to the mat, but if you can keep it off the mat, that's better. A little bit more strengthening. And then come to down dog pose. Inhale to upward dog with the option of bringing your knees to the floor instead. And exhale to down dog pose. Look at the space between your blocks. Step your left foot right there. So if it doesn't make it, you're bringing your back knee down and using your left hand to bring that leg forward. Right foot forward, let the head hang free. Let's take the palms to the lower back so that we're aware of engaging and lengthening the spine to come up. Inhale to center. Exhale, namaste. Let's finish that round. Inhale, take that huge breath in. Exhale, swan dive down. Step the left leg back. Again, you always have the option of bringing that back knee to the mat. And come to down dog pose. Inhaling. Up dog pose, option of the knees to the mat. And exhale, down dog pose. Step that right foot between your hands, left foot, and be right here. So in this moment, you're in a full forward fold, the neck and the head, they should be completely relaxed. Take your palms to the lower back, draw your shoulder blades together, lead with your chin. And come to Anjali Mudra. Or namaste. So we're going to do a second round.
exactly the same way. And this one I want to watch. Palms touch. So your palms touch in front of you. This is Anjali Mudra or Namaste. Inhale, circle the arms. This is a huge breath, please. And as you exhale, swan dive down. Your fingertips are right by your toes. Relax your head. So there should be no effort in the neck. Just hang out there a moment as I gaze and just check everybody out. Good. Step the right leg way back and look up. Now, I want everyone to be, that you have it, Doris. Just go longer in your stance if you can. Step the right leg back more. Um, Sarah, uh, Ruth, you're ahead of me. Keep your left leg forward. You're in a lunge. Yeah, so I can't tell Ruth, but your left foot should be in between your hands. Is it in between your hands? Your left knee is bent, so you're in a yogic lunge. Now, everybody needs to be on their fingertips. I want you to be light, light, light like a feather. Nice, Barbara, beautiful pose. Yes, good, Gigi. Gigi, you're getting so much. I see so much progress in you in your yoga postures. Be super light on the fingertips. Hannah, can you lower the buttocks a little bit more? Doris, can you bend your left knee a little more and lift your head up? Yeah, there you go. Oh, so that's much better. Beautiful. Down dog pose, everybody. Down dog pose. Slow, slow, slow movement forward. Inhale, up dog, option of knees to the mat. So honor what you might need to do. Down dog pose. Barbara, you step one step ahead of me here. Down dog pose. Now, left foot forward in between your hands. Yes. But I will say, Barbara, you've gotten really good at that lunge. <laughs> Be super light on your fingertips, everybody. Nice, Devora. Just lift your head up a little bit more. Pine tree, I can't really see you. And now take the right foot forward. Relax your head completely. Palms to the lower back. Gather those shoulder blades, lead with your chin, inhale to center, and come to Anjali Mudra or Namaste. And then let's finish that round. Inhale, circle through the arms, big breath in. And as you exhale, swan dive down. Fingers by your toes, relax your head completely, free your neck. Left leg goes back, you want to find that lunge, look up. Be super light on those fingertips again. Can you be on your fingertips? So the energy of this pose is going up rather than down. I, Sarah, I would stick to the blocks, I think. But, but be light. Yeah, there you go. That's a good compromise there. Down dog pose. Up dog pose or knees to the mat, whatever is appropriate for you. And back to down dog pose. Right foot steps forward. Good, Sarah. Left foot steps forward. Palms to the lower back. Gather your shoulder blades. Lift your head up. Come to center. Good, Irma. Hey, Irma. Hi, Irma. <laughs> Into Anjali Mudra or Namaste. Relax your arms by your sides for a moment. So we are going to do one more round. And this round, we're going to bring the back knee onto the mat. So you might want to have a blanket or pillow to cushion that knee. I always like to cushion my knee when my knee is on the floor. So take a moment to make sure you have something to put under your knee, because we are going to stay there and work within that context of having the knee to the mat. And I'm going to join you on my mat so you can follow. Here we go. Palms touch. Inhale and circle. Exhale, down. Step the right leg back. And now I want you to put the right knee on the floor. So make sure it's cushioned. Do you see how I have my fingertips on the blocks, but I'm lifting up through the torso. So rather than leaning forward into the leg, you want to maintain that length and you're sinking deep into that front hip, right? You'll feel it. 
Let's feel through the front leg. Take up um, through this leg. Take a breath. And now as you exhale, pivot to the heel of the left foot and bow down. I'm doing this with you in case you need to see what it looks like. As you inhale, bend your knee. Gaze forward as you bend your knee. And as you exhale, pivot to the heel and fold down. And then one more. Inhale, bending the knee. And as you exhale, pivot to the heel. Now, if you don't need the blocks, if you could bring your fingertips to the floor with a straight left knee and fold down into that leg, I know that a couple of you can definitely do that. Then feel free to do that. But otherwise, use your blocks. And you should be feeling the strong stretch through the back of that front leg. Return to your lunge, and I always find here that I have to readjust everything a little bit to find that pose. Now watch again as we do this together. Curl the toes of your back foot, lift that knee up first. Now you're in Anjani Asana for the yogi lunge, the pose we've been doing, and step back to down dog pose. We're doing a different variation of sun salutation now, so stay with me on this. Come to your knees. Inhale, arch, and as you exhale, slip your fingers to the far end of your blocks. Your block should be mid-height. So even if you're not using the blocks, gather the blocks for this pose so that you're, oh, this is an extended child, but with the arms on the blocks, you're working up to open up those shoulders a little bit more. Return to all fours, down door pose and step the left foot between the blocks. And then the right foot between the blocks. Let your head hang free again, please. Lift your gaze. Circle through the arms, inhale. And exhale to Namaste. And we have the other side to do. Inhale. Take that huge, huge, huge circle of breath. And as you exhale, swan dive down. Be in the moment here. So in this moment, your head and neck should be free. Left leg way back, everybody. Knee to the floor. Sink deep, deep, deep into the pose. If you look at my right knee, you'll see that my knee and ankle are in the same line. So you don't want your knee to overshoot your ankle. Take a breath in here, and as you exhale, pivot to the heel of that right foot and bow down into that leg. As you inhale, let your knee bend, gaze up. And as you exhale, pivot to the heel and fold down. And one more. Inhale, bend your knee. Look up. As you exhale, pivot to the heel and fold down. Relax your head completely. Hold here, breathe here. Return to your lunge. Lift your back knee. So again, this is Anjaniyasana or the yogic lunge and come to down dog pose. Really take a moment here. Find that posture. Again, we're moving through that different variation. Inhale to your knees. Exhale, keep the fingertips reaching to the far end of the block. Extended child pose. We turn to all fours to down dog pose. Right foot steps forward, and then the left head hangs free, always. Inhale, let's circle those arms to come up, and exhale to Namaste. Come to Tadasana, mountain pose. Join your feet together. Big toes touch if you can. Close your eyes here. Find your breath. 
feel yourself rooting down. And then let's take balance. We actually were doing this in the chair yoga. I think in the our chair yoga for this. I'm not sure if it was this or the council center or both. But let's work with the blocks. So take one block on top of the other. Highest level on both blocks if you can. Okay. Focus your gaze on the point and shift your weight into the right leg. However, you're not sinking into that leg, right? So remember the energy of balance is to create this sense of lightness and liftness. So the energy is lifting up. Shift to the right leg. Take your left foot, place it on your blocks. Take both arms up over your head. So I'm gonna come around and just watch for a moment. Arms up over your head. Find your breath here. Keep your focus. And now let's add balance if you can. Hold on to the leg with both hands and lift that foot off the floor, or off the blocks if you can. So you're actually lifting the left foot. Off, did I say floor? Off the blocks. So you're in balance. You're holding on to that leg. You can keep it on the blocks if you need to, but the intention is to challenge that pose a little bit. Hmm? Bring the arms down. Release the posture. Let's change sides. I'll do this one with you. So let's shift our weight over to the right leg. Take your left foot, I mean right foot rather. Right, you shift this way to your left leg, right leg is up. Take those arms straight up over your head. Or if you can come into a full balance, hold on underneath your leg and lift that foot. And now you're holding your pose wherever you are in that posture. Five breaths this time, be on your own. At the end of your fifth breath, release the pose. And then zipper your legs together, relax your arms, close your eyes. You're finding your breath here, feeling that breath. We're making our way down to the mat. We'll do it through the squat, the same way we came up. So we're going down, feet hip width apart, hinge at the hip. You can use your blocks here if you need to. Come to a squat. And then here, how, here, here is how you lower yourself to the ground. Bring your hands behind you and lower yourself to the mat. Take your legs, uh, not your legs, take yourself forward. So we're coming to dynamic plow. As always, you're doing this to the best of your ability. Rolling back and to center five times on your own. Go ahead. Five times. When you're done, come to center. Okay, and then I want everyone to sit up for a moment. That's it. So here's one thing about this. This is dynamic plow. And as I was watching, for some of you, you're not letting your head touch the floor. You may not be able to get your buttocks up to the, up to the ceiling, but let me just show you. When you roll back, even if you can't get your buttocks off the floor, you want your head to be on the floor. If you keep your head off the ground, there's no way you're going to get your buttocks up off of the floor. So it's imperative that your head touch the floor. Even if you kind of feel like a beach whale and you're here, but that's a way to begin. But if you're like this and you're keeping your head off the floor, there's no way those buttocks are lifting. So try again five times. On your own, go ahead. That's better, Ruth. Good, Henna. That's it, Pine Tree. And when you're done, end of that fifth one, nice, Irma. 
Lie down on your back. Stretch your legs out. Let everything go completely. Okay. Stretch your legs out. Take your arms as out like a T. Bend your knees. Place your feet on the floor, the width of your mat, the width of your mat. Think of your legs like windshield wipers. Take an in-breath. As you exhale, the knees roll to the right, turning your head to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, knees left, turning your head right. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Turning your head left. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Turning your head right. Back to center. Bring your legs together. Take the right leg, cross it completely over your left. I'm doing it with you. In case you can't follow. So you want to cross the right knee over the left knee. Shift your buttocks a little bit to the right. This is reclining twist. Now some of you can take that right foot and entwine it. If you're able to do that, absolutely no strain. But if you're able to do that, feel free. Take a breath here. As you exhale, the knees, they go over to the left. Head turning to the right. Now, you can hold on to that knee. You can also put a block under the knee so that it has something to rest on because most likely it will not touch the floor. Mine doesn't touch the floor because you want to keep the shoulder down, right? Hold here, find that twist. My spine just adjusted itself. I heard that little crack. Release to center, change sides. Your left knee courses over the right. Shift your buttocks a little bit to the left. If you can, entwine that foot, feel free. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, the knees, they go to the right, turning your head to the left. Hold here and breathe. and release. Untwine your legs, bring your knees to your chest, take your hands, cup them over the front of the knees, and now make circles like you're rowing the oars of a boat. The right leg is going to the right, and the left leg is going to the left. And then reverse. Wrap your arms securely around your legs. Take a breath in. As you exhale, hug your knees to your chest. Lift your forehead to the knees unless you feel a strain in your neck, then keep your head down. Release your hands. Release your head. Release your legs. And then stretch both legs straight out on the mat. So we're coming into Shavasana, Shavasana now, relaxation. You can put a, um, pillows or blocks under your knees. Some of you are right by a couch. You can put your legs up on the couch if you'd like. Put a blanket under your head. I want you to get super, super comfortable here. Super comfortable. Let the arms release completely. as you use the power of your mind to suggest, to feel your whole body rest. Feel your arms, your hands, 
and both of your shoulders relax. Feel your legs, your feet, and both of your hips relax. Release your spine and the muscles in your back and feel the front of your body relax. Relax your neck and throat. Relax your head. Relax your eyes, cheeks, lips, tongue, and jaw. Going more deeply, relax your heart and breath. Feeling as you breathe, with every single breath, every cell in your body totally, completely relaxed. Your whole being rests. Stay focused on your breath. And as we lie here in Shavasana, in relaxation, which is actually one of the most may be the most important part of this practice because this is where you absorb on a very deep cellular level the benefits of everything we've done. This is where your nervous system comes into balance, into homeostasis, is during this relaxation. So very important to do this. Be mindful of your breathing. Just follow the breath in and out like a wave. Every time you breathe in, envision energy flowing into your body, and every time you breathe out, you're sweeping away any tension, any tightness of any kind. Just feel that. Begin to move your fingers, to move your toes, to move your head. Give yourself a very deep, deep, deep full stretch in any way that feels good to you. Then come to a seated posture, legs crossed, eyes closed, spine lifted, so that your energy can flow freely. Take a breath for your body. A breath for your mind. A breath for your soul. Floating your arms behind you, holding the right wrist, folding to yoga mudra. If your head should meet the floor, let it rest. return to center, and then open your eyes. Thank you, everyone. Have a fabulous